Here's a bit of a different video. I just released a new product, um, simply put, Word Template Installer, um, which simply installs Word templates uh, to the uh, Microsoft Templates directory in the um, current user's uh, roaming app data folder. Um, now, this really isn't, of course, for the PC technicians out there so much as it is for the sysadmins in you, um, the managed service providers, people who are dealing with finicky office workers and their um, Microsoft Word templates. So let's get started. Um, I have Word Template Installer open and when you download the package uh, it's just a single executable file but it will expand and create a, a few directories and um, uh, an INI file if you register it. Uh, although the program is free, I do provide command line automation for it, um, which uh, you have to register for. So um, let's get started. I'll show you both ways of doing things. Um, first off, when you launch the program, you have nothing. So what we need to do is get a template. Um, I happen to have some templates handy. So I'll just browse and select a template um, that's called Hotline Letterhead. Um, and basically you can save the template now and leave it as is but that's not really the point of Word Template Installer. The secret sauce to Word Template Installer is the desktop shortcut. How many times have you tried to teach someone how to open an Office template um, or create a new document based on a template rather? Um, and, and just finding that template in Word isn't the easiest thing for most people. So what uh, Word Template Installer does is create a desktop shortcut to launch a new document with that template. Yay! Um, what we need to do is give the shortcut a name. So I'm just going to call it something arbitrary for right now. I'll just call it the same thing, what it is, hotline letterhead. Now, um, you can give the shortcut a description for the, the mouse hover over. Well, let's see. <laughs> I'm uh, losing myself here. Okay, I gave it a description. And we also have an option for an alternate icon. I'm going to go ahead and select one because I actually have an icon that I want to use rather than the default um, word icon. Um, I actually created a special uh, icon for this project. And now I have all of my fields filled in. So I'll just save template and it'll appear right here. Um, what we're going to do, I'm just going to show you a little bit about how this works. I've already got the um, uh, users uh, app data roaming Microsoft templates folder open and you can see it has the normal dot dot m in there um, running uh, the 2010 version of Office. So um, basically I'll take the word template installer simply click install selected templates uh, you can check to install the desktop shortcut or not that's up to you um, but uh, I prefer to do it because I want a shortcut for for my users so bam it's as simple as that and you see the hotline letterhead appeared here the starfish appeared here and you might have seen this appear on my desktop, except I'm not showing desktop icons. <laughs> so uh, here we have it. There's my hotline letterhead with my special icon. And you just launch that, and there you go. You have your letterhead. You can start typing on that letterhead and save it as whatever you will, because it, Word opens it as document one. 
um, because it actually is open properly as a template file not as a word file so um, that's the basic usage um, however there are also command line parameters yay um, there are four that I've provided um, the first one is install all um, this will install every template that you have configured in the word template installer um, and it will also install the desktop shortcuts if they're configured then we have the copy all which merely copies the template um, and does not install the desktop shortcut um, next we have slash install space template config name and the template config name is the name of the configuration for that template that you gave it right here template config name it is not the name of the template file name which is right here it is the config name so when you use the install parameter make sure to use the config name and then finally we have copy space template file name and in this case you do not use the template config name use the template file name because all it does is copy that file to uh, app data roaming Microsoft templates it does not create the desktop shortcut um, and this is a free application it's uh, there for you to use um, as you see fit um, uh, commercial personal um, all that good stuff um, but like I said if you want the command line parameters you'll need to register the app um, check the website for pricing and I hope you have a good day thank you